Ah, all of the excitement now that the last of actor Daniel Craig's five-time portrayal of iconic James Bond is here. Uh, fans, and of course we're seeing spectat uh, spectators alike as well, they already are turning their eyes to who could be playing the dashing, gun-toting, martini-sipping, international man of mystery next. It's a big question. Right? It's going to be shaken or stirred. Ooh. Now, before we jump into this topic, I think we need to first clarify, as we mentioned earlier, Lashana Lynch is the next agent 007. So many moviegoers might be confusing the role of James Bond with the title of 007. So while Lashana, uh, Lashana's character Nomi takes up the gap filled by James Bond in the new movie, she will not play the next Bond. Hence, okay. we need to find right. out or speculate who might be. Thank you for clearing okay. that up, Zoe. In fact, producer Barbara Broccoli has made it very clear that for now at least, James Bond will never be female and that the focus needs to be placed on creating roles for women rather than simply turning men into women. However, James Bond is now a more mutable figure, so that means that he could be non white and non British. So okay. Opening up the field so he's fluid in that way. Yeah. He could be played by any, any man. Now, taking that into account, then we also need to uh, start keeping in mind that the role elevates actors to A-list status. I mean, that's going to happen. Like, you can't avoid that, rather than the film being driven by an A-list actor. And it's a beautiful thing to know that it's been able to build those stars in that way. And producers will also want to take the opportunity to, you know, sort of introduce the franchise to a younger audience and evolve it in that way, so that its popularity can then, uh, you know, translate onto the next generation, as it has over generations, right? Right, OK. Well, now the speculation can begin. So first up, a contender whose name is top of Everyone's predictions list is Idris Elba. Mm. Now, the man simply oozes cool. He is so dapper and he really offers a compelling case as he would be the first black actor to take on this career-making role. He is, however, very well established and at the age of 49, it's almost too old to take on this 15-year contract. Is it that long? Right? It is a 15-year contract. What? Five movies in 15 years. Yeah. yeah, and I think he might be a bit too old. Well, well another black know. actor who is people betting on him is ex Bridgerton star Roger Jean Page, setting tongues wagging after his departure earlier this year. We were also sad. He is currently working on a reboot of the spy show The Saint, and he would be a risky choice, though, as he has yet to be a leading man in a film. But I do mm. see it. He has, mm. you know, a sex it. appeal. He's younger. Yeah. He has 15 years. Ticks many boxes. And I like that the show could literally catapult him into the next level. Now, one actor who has proven his chops, I mean, Tom Hardy, guys. Let's be honest. Uh, he's led in action films The Dark Knight Rises and Mad Max Fury Road with Tom obviously now in his mid-40s. It's another actor that could really just... Uh find that that counts against him, I His think. age, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then there's another British Tom who could be in the running, this time Tom Holland, who is only 24 years old, oh. maybe may a little bit too young, oh. but he has certainly proved himself at the box office for being Marvel's Spider-Man. Mm. Too young, though, but I don't know. Uh, well, the last of our predictions is British-Malaysian actor Henry Golding, Ooh. who won hearts in Crazy Rich Asians and showed his capabilities for action in this year's Snake Eyes, Although it did not perform well at the box office, we can certainly see this one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think that we can all speculate all we want, but producer Barbara Broccoli says, uh, you know, jokingly, that uh, she's in denial about Daniel Craig's yeah. leaving uh, the franchise and, uh, you know, has announced that uh, the team will not be putting thought to the major casting until 2022 when the time comes. So as to, uh, you know, give Daniel the appropriate lust, Hoorah! And he so well deserves, deserves it. it. Well done mm. to him. So, who do you think stands a chance of being cast as the next James Bond? Let us know your thoughts on our social media using that hashtag Expresso Show. And stick around because there's more 007 takeovers coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.